Corin, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing a reading from the 13th to the 19th of December. This is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Capricorn, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm gonna clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge here is the Three of Cups, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So your challenge here has a lot to do with the Three of Cups. I'm really strongly getting with the Three of Cups that a lot of you want to celebrate something, maybe even come, you know, in back into a reconciliation with someone. We're going to clarify this Capricorn and see what your important message is here in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Star. I feel like in the recent past, in order for you to really um, plan for the future, heal, do the inner work, you know, build this business that you want to build, focus on um, creating your own income here, a lot of you had to disconnect from certain people, certain friends, certain family members, certain people, okay? Um, otherwise, you know, it may have been very difficult for you to build this idea. It could have been very difficult for you to build you know, your idea of what you wanted the future to be, okay? In the past, we're gonna clarify this and get more information in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Four of Cups, you have the King of Cups, and you have the Five of Cups. There's some sort of situation in the present moment. Some of you are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I do see this person wanting to offer you love. I do see them coming in. If they haven't uh, come into your life already, then they may be in the process of coming into your life. I'm really strongly getting here in the present moment that a lot of you are dealing with somebody here who, you know, either you have history with this person, something happened between you and this person where it's like you're reminiscing about something here that didn't work out. And that may be the reason why you're not interested in taking this person's offer of love. Now, keep in mind, King of King of Cups doesn't just mean you're dealing with a water sign. You could be dealing with someone who's, an, uh, you know, not a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but they embody this emotional energy, okay? Because Capricorn, you don't tend to be an emotional sign, okay? Unless you have, you know, water energy in your chart. But you're, you're, you are essentially attracting someone in the present moment that you really love but there's something here that happened between you and this person. That's why your challenge is the three of cups. Okay. So we're going to get into this and clarify uh, in a moment. Now in the near future, you have the Empress, the four of swords and the chariot. In order for something to completely move forward the way that you want it to and to grow the way that you want it to, there's something here that needs to be healed, okay? Which means rest, relaxation, R&R, &R, eating healthy, doing all the necessary things in order for you to move forward, okay? So we're gonna clarify the near future cards and get more information about this in a moment. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn is the 10 of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, Page of Swords, Strength, five of swords and the five of pentacles in reverse, okay? So for many of you, what you don't see coming is the fact that a lot of you are no longer gonna be investing your time, your energy into things that are not growing. So if it's not growing and it's not benefiting you, I see you either abandoning it or disconnecting. Some of you have already done this, okay? If you haven't done it already, that may be something that's coming in. Others of you are disconnecting from an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You no longer wanna fight or have drama with this person. You've kind of essentially given up or they've given up on this situation. A lot of you don't even watch this person Person, you don't even spy on them anymore. You're just like, whatever, I don't care. Um, and the reason why that may be is because of a lack of forgiveness, a lack of understanding. Page of Cups for me in the reverse is a lack of understanding, okay? It's also immaturity for me, okay? Um, it's someone who's not recognizing how immature they're being. So for many of you, the reason why a lot of you have had a difficult time maybe disconnecting from the situation over a certain period of time is because you thought it was gonna be great. You assumed that it was gonna be great. You assumed that it would be something that would lead to one, a long-term commitment, long-term business investment, and maybe that's something that you're reevaluating right now. The common thread theme okay for the earth signs this week is the fact that what is no longer working for me i need to disconnect from and that could be the biggest the hardest thing for earth signs because earth signs like stability okay and look look lo and behold look at what's at the bottom of the deck the death in reverse so something here hasn't ended just like what i said but you're going to be releasing yourself from this because you want to have a new beginning 
okay? And you've kind of already made this decision with the two of pentacles here in reverse. So um, let's get into your reading and uh, very interesting set of cards that you got here. Let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify your challenge. So the three of cups is clarified by the devil, the lovers and the three of wands. Your biggest uh, challenge here for this coming week is the fact that a lot of you are going to be reconciling with someone that you haven't seen uh, for quite some time. I'm getting maybe another Capricorn, a Gemini here, fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There will be an important challenging conversation that a lot of you may not want to confront. Okay. Or maybe you want to have a conversation with this person, but they haven't been willing to confront you when it comes to this. I'm really strongly getting here that for many of you, there's so much love between you and this person that in order for this to continue, um, there needs to be a conversation. So very important conversation that's been delayed, I feel like is going to happen for you. And it's going to be very much unexpected. Okay. Now let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the eight of cups. The eight of cups is clarified by the 10 of swords. You have the two of pentacles and the knight of pentacles. So for many of you in the recent past, like I said, you decided to walk away. Okay. You took your time walking away and disconnecting from the situation. You may have been in your head over and over again, you know, asking yourself, should I disconnect from this? Should I walk away? Should I move? Should I leave? Should I, should I not? Should I, you know, it's difficult for you. Because for many of you, you know, you have this dream, you have this goal, nine of pentacles and the star in the past. You're like, I want to be independent financially. I don't want to have to rely on this person or the, this, this is a situation that's not fulfilling me anymore. So I feel like in the past, a lot of you may have decided to disconnect. Um, maybe you wanted to, but you found it difficult to do this. Okay. But some of you did disconnect here is what I'm seeing because you needed to focus on growing and building yourself financially, emotionally, physically, spiritually, and mentally. Okay, so you did disconnect here or it was a desire here for you to disconnect in the past. Now, in the present moment, it looks like for many of you, you are dealing with someone here who's overly emotional. They really love and really care about you, but something here happened between you and them. That's why your challenge here is a three of cups, because although you want to reconcile with this person, you want to make sure that the situation's resolved before you decide to move forward with them if that's something that you want to do. So let's clarify the five of cups. So the five of cups is clarified by the nine of swords, the high priestess and the strength. Yes. So in the present moment, there's still a possibility for you and this person to work things out. I think in the present moment, someone here, I don't think this is you. I think this is your person. Um, they're really, really uh, in this place of fear and anxiety surrounding this connection because something here hasn't been resolved between you and them. And this person knows that you're not going to be taking an offer. You're not going to be taking their offer until this situation is resolved. Tell me more about the four of cups. Four of Cups is clarified by the Queen of Cups, Five of Swords, and the Emperor. Whoever this person is that's offering you love in the present moment, they're really determined to have stability with you. They're actually fighting for this. But I think, again, one of the reasons why a lot of you are not taking this person up on their offer is because there's two stories I have here. The first one is either you had a bad experience in the past and you haven't really overcame that bad experience and therefore you're taking your bad experience that you had from, from the past and applying it to the present moment. Or it could be the fact that this person wants to offer you love and they're determined, but there's something that you don't like, okay, about something that happened between you and this person. And it hasn't really been discussed. And that's why in order for you to actually accept this person's love and therefore move forward into this energy of growth with them, that's something that needs to be confronted. That's why the three of cups with the eight of wands is your challenge because that conversation needs to happen, right? In order for you both to get clear on where you both stand with one another. What's the important message from this person that uh, Capricorn's connected to or will be connected to in the present moment? Let's clarify the king of cups. 
Okay, so the King of Cups is clarified by the Fool, the Magician, and the Queen of Pentacles. Whoever this person is in the present moment, the reason why they're offering you love, okay? Um, I think they're genuine. I think this is a genuine person, especially if they're a new person. Um, I feel like this is someone you've manifested. This is somebody who, you know, you've been you've been thinking, do I really want to give this person a chance? Do I really want to be with this person? Because this person in the present moment wants to have a new beginning with you. They're manifesting that. They're wanting to have this with you. The question is, do you want that with them? Now, in the near future, it gets really interesting, Capricorn, because it looks like for many of you, um, you will be moving forward and you will be moving towards growth, uh, nurturing here. Now, one of the things that I see here in the near future is there is going to be a healing process, meaning some of you may take some time off from work. You may decide to completely unplug. You may decide to completely rest and heal your energy because there is going to be a new... Um, direction you're going to be taking it looks like there's going to be a lot of movement in the near future we're going to find out what that means for you in a moment let's clarify the four of swords what's the important message here for capricorn in the near future the four of swords is clarified by the king of cups the four of swords and the nine of uh, pentacles. So in the near future, again, if you were dealing with somebody here who water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, sign doesn't matter. It's the energy. So if this person's an overly emotional person, somebody who's very in touch with their emotions, this person I see in the near future, they are going to come towards you again and offer love. But because you're so busy, you know, working on your business, you're so busy on your own stuff, your job, your career, your finances, your investments, a lot of you may not even have time for this person. And this person becomes overly emotional. It's like, oh, you don't care about me? Oh, you don't want me? Oh, you don't want to be? And it's like, no, I just need time and I need space. So there's something here about you needing time and space in the near future to really just go within and do that, that you know, um, <laughs> really just go and heal and rest. That's what I'm seeing you do because there's something here about you investing so much time and energy into building something that it's really zapped your energy in the near future. So tell me more about the new direction that Capricorn may decide to take here. So the chariot is clarified by the king of wands, the two of wands and the knight of wands. So for many of you, what I'm really strongly seeing here in the near future is that a lot of you are going to be deciding to maybe move into a new direction here. Okay. It's like you're transforming, you're changing. Some of you are, um, some of you, excuse me, are deciding to disconnect from a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries in the near future, because this person's a player. Okay. They're on and off, on and off. One minute they portray themselves one way, the next minute they portray themselves a different way. And that again, may be the reason why a lot of you aren't really a hundred percent sure if you want to reconcile and move forward with this person is what I'm seeing. So a lot of you are going to have a decision that you have to make, even though you've invested a lot of time and energy maybe into this person. So let's get some advice for you. What is the advice? The advice for you is the Ace of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Hermit, okay? If you really want this love connection, this new love connection that has come into your life to work, there's two messages I have for you. The first thing is you need to confront the pain that this person caused you. The only way you and this person are going to reconcile and have a successful new beginning is if you both talk about what caused you both pain. I feel like there may have been a third party situation here that a lot of you swept under the rug. And in order for you to completely have this new beginning, you have to be honest with yourself and your person. That's the first piece of advice I have for you. The second piece of advice I have for you is, is a lot of you cannot find new love and move forward um, until you change your perspective on what love means to you. If you are um, saying every single day, you know, people are cheaters, they're liars, people don't deserve my love, you know, people are just going to try to hurt me. Well, yeah, you're right. You're manifesting that and you're creating that by saying that, by thinking those thoughts with the hermit here. So in order for you to have the love that you truly see, Capricorn, you need to change the way you think about love, the way you view love, the way you approach love. That's going to be your first step to really identifying what it's going to take for you to heal because that's what I see you doing in the near future. Really disconnecting and just loving and pouring into yourself. And when you start to do that, you're going to change the perspective on how you view love and the people that you attract are going to change because now you've changed your mentality. You're no longer in this place of, oh, people are liars, cheaters. I don't, I don't need love. Of course you want love. That's why you're on the love messages. That's why you watch this channel because everybody wants love. The universal language is love. 
Okay. So in order for you to get there and have this new beginning, you really got to go within yourself and, and say to yourself, what's bothering me? What did I not completely heal and resolve from my past in order for my, you know, in order for me to feel comfortable and be able to completely move forward the way that I want to in love. Okay. So Capricorn, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.